Yeah. My dad works tirelessly to make sure families are together all around the world. Okay. I, I am here with my daughter who just got back from this Spartan type camp, uh, which is basically a good camp, even though they don't allow parents to like Stop. look in and Stop. see what's happening. Uh, I'm not allowed to say that, so forgive me. <laughs> but this is about children and families. The divorce industry has systematically and methodically removed children from the lives of their parents. It's predicated on a bunch of Shylocks and attorneys who basically do not have the best interests of the children at heart. Uh, there are some really good attorneys, such as David Olds in Georgia, who has been fighting tirelessly against uh, a system which is predicated upon giving one parent at the expense of others total custody. I am in the belief of uh, that both parents and children should have total accessibility. And the last people that should be called in as evaluators are the court-appointed <gasps> psychologists, especially the ones in Georgia. I just had the uh, good uh, exposure to one of the great psychologists in Georgia who not only is totally corrupt, but has spent most of his time trying to make sure that anyone that disagrees with him is not part of the picture. I will name that at a future date. Uh, and basically what I am trying to speak about is not only the accessibility of children to both parents, but the rights of parents in, in the system, the rights of parents to choose uh, to have a meaningful and, you, and a wonderful creative life with their children. And psychologists and family therapists and any of these people should be looked upon to help, not to give labels and systematically remove the children from their lives. So I'm against that. Parents' rights is against that. And my network is against that. And I've spent the last half century of my life running around the world trying to make sure that children have accessibility to their parents and fighting abusive abusive behavior by judges who basically know nothing about the rights of families and nor do they care less. Both Republican and Democratic clubs spend most of their time putting people up who are totally insensitive to the rights of children. The rights of children are the rights of parents and just because certain parents have idiosyncratic behavior that does not mean that they should not be part of the equation in the children's lives. I am further fighting for this, parents' rights is fighting for this, and the people that I'm working for is fighting for this. Don't buy the fact that you are a visitor in your child's life. Only accept the right that you will have decision making with your children in the course and navigation of their future life. Oh, sitting next to me is my daughter who's very interested in activism and is very interested in the rights of women and men as equally. Uh, thank you, it's Dr. Monty Weinstein.